Almost every team that has ever won a championship has had a special player to elevate them to that coveted place. For a select group of high school players, being special enough to get to that platform means they will probably have to grapple with a time-honored tradition. Decision Day. Reaching that milestone for blue chip athletes such as Cox Mill High School's Wendell Moore is an arduous process for both the player and everyone in their inner circle. How intense has this recruiting process been for you as a parent, as a father? It's been easy at first, rough in the middle. Now hopefully it's getting, it's getting easier. Uh, like you said, coaches are called, uh, two or three coaches from one school are called it one day or, uh, and ask uh, how we doing, what we doing, uh, what we need to do, how we need to do it. It was fun in the beginning, but yeah. <laughs> Is and it not I, fun no, anymore? I'm, I'm ready for it to be <laughs> over. <laughs> Each team has two or three coaches, so that's like 30 calls in, a, in a, one certain moment. But I'm the I'm the one that they never uh, really call a lot because I don't answer my phone. <laughs> Some of these bitches have been having like really like like surreal to me because I walk in a hotel room. And, there, and there's like a Slam Magazine poster sitting on the floor. And, uh, and, and just different things that school try to do like, like as a recruiting pitch. It's something that we all wanted him to go through. You know, he, he could have made his decision on one of the offers, but um, he thought it out. And this is an experience you only get once. So why not experience the process all the way to the end? You know, as he's been for four years now solid, being recruited heavily by uh, the ACC schools and, and the Big Tens and the Pac-12s. And so it's not affecting him all. He handles every situation like uh, a mature adult to be a 17-year-old kid. Uh, even when he came into school as a freshman, as a 14-year-old, he was handling it really well. I've gotten a chance to meet some of the best coaches in the world. And I hope that those are connections I'll have for the rest of my life. Where a player chooses to play college ball is critical in developing his game for the next level. And there are myriad roads to the top. But Wendell Moore was born to play the game of basketball. He took his first step chasing the ball to go put it in this little game he had. You know, he would run, pick the ball up, and crawl back, and put it in the hoops, and the lights would come on. So he and how went, old was he, like one or two? First up for around nine months, so he picked the ball up, turned around. And his dad would, you know, kind of position him and tell him to shoot. Stepped over to the thing, put it in the hole, and the lights started flashing. Since then, he was playing basketball forever. <laughs> and as he started getting taller, we would continue to raise it. I mean, I wasn't the best then, but uh, I mean, I just knew how to work to, to like to be great someday. And, and I kind of knew I was going to be special in, the, in, in around that middle school, about sixth or seventh grade. A lot of big kids at that time, they were just putting them in the post and they would just tell him to do post moves, but he could actually dribble. And he looked like he was like 15 at the time. So I was like, there's no way that he's 11. That's why I knew he's special. He's there's a little thing in the back, you can move it up and down. So me and my teammates come down here and we'll have like a little dunk contest down here on this goal. Uh, we'll play like 21 or have teams, stuff like that. So uh, it really has got a lot of memories on it. We've changed our eating habits to, to help him. Mm -hmm. And we, we can see the difference, you know, especially on the court. He's, he's running longer. He, he can go out and play those minutes. Mm -hmm. He's going to the gym on his own for yoga. Uh, he does the Cairo, and um, you know, you're trying to prepare his body too for when he moves on to college. So you work out twice a day? Uh, at least twice a day. How long have you been doing that? That's a lot, that's a lot. Yeah, it really all started in middle school. I, I used to get around five or six and go to the Y. I mean, that's kind of why I fell in love with the game in middle school, in uh, like sixth, seventh grade, uh, so I had Dom. Uh, he would come get me like, er, like early in the morning and we'd just go to the Y and work out right before school. Some players build their talents later in life. Others get discovered purely by accident. 
but in head coach Jody Barbie's program, keeping top level basketball skills sharp requires practice. Lots and lots of practice. Let's go, let's go. I'm so done with taking orders. Respect the force you see before you. I'm that dude you can't ignore. Cause I will go through the doors and all your porches. I'm the man right now. There ain't nobody gonna hold me down. I will get loud. One more rep, one more rep, one more rep. We've had a good week so far. Let's continue what we're doing. It's a process. You have to trust it and you got to believe in it. Right? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Hey, what are we today, fellas? The family, three, family, three, one, two, three. Family. family. What do you do off the court? Uh, really, probably chill with my friends. Uh, we play video games. Um, if not, I'm, uh, I'm just somewhere laid up, so probably sleep. Mm hmm. 2K? Yeah, 2K. Okay. <laughs> what team do you play with? I play any team. Any? Are you good, though? Really good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the best among your friends? Yeah, by far. Would they say the same thing though? Nah, they probably wouldn't <laughs> say so. <laughs> Every day. Yeah. Yeah, you're not the best, but it's alright. Uh... <laughs> I got some highlights on the down. I ain't gonna put it. I got some highlights on. I got some proof. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, everybody raves about his talent, but a lot of people don't know him outside of basketball, and, and uh, the kind of person he is is he's a he's a loving kid. Uh, Charisma, smile he got every day, every single day. So I've enjoyed the last three and a half, four years with him, and I uh, look forward to you know trying to cap off his senior year in a, in a big way. Along with being a coach's dream on the court, Moore also checks all the boxes as a great teammate. I love playing with him. He a great leader on the court and off the court. He just a, a real cool dude, like silly. People don't see that stuff off the court, but like yeah, real fun to hang out with. Silly. I love him. I love him as well. That's my boy. What did he get from you? Sports and charisma. No. <laughs> <laughs> he got the sports for me. He, uh, uh, we, we're like a team. Um, I handled everything, sports. She handled everything, books. And then we come together on personality. How important is it for him to be that well-rounded person? You know, you just can't rely on basketball. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why with me academics is so important. He, he knows the rule in the house is I only take one B, mm. literally. And if he gets more than one B, he knows I'll call his coach and say, look, no, he's not going to play. Really? Because I want him to be able to, you know, thank God that he has a basketball scholarship offers, but academically he can get there too. The room that Wendell's mother designed to showcase his accomplishments is filling up quickly with championship trophies and scholar-athlete awards. And it proves that he is no flash in the pan. My mom kind of put this together for me just so I can look back on all my memories. My USA picture, this is from this past year's team. So in all these dreams, I, I'll probably say this one is it, it's probably the most important to me. Not only because it's my first one. Uh, my CP3 team, so that's our logo. Uh, we got my number again right here, number 30. And that's a bond I still have today with those guys. I still talk to them all the time. So this is something that we're never gonna be able to forget. This one right here was really cool to me because I actually got a chance in April to, uh, to get a chance to go to the Final Four in, in the National Championship game. And uh, like a cool part for me, just getting a chance to play on the floor. And, uh, and having the chance to watch all the games and how and just how great the atmosphere really is. Yeah, people start to notice me a little bit out in public. Uh, maybe sometimes I'll go to the mall or something like that, and maybe like a little kid they come at and ask for a picture or something. Um, I mean, it really doesn't get too crazy. And I see it more as it, it, like an opportunity more than uh, more than like something negative. Well, I probably say I spend every day thinking about it. Uh, for the past like two or three years, ever, ever since I, I've kind of started getting this recruiting attention, I mean, it's something that I just always have to think about because, because really, it's just my future, and uh, and I, mean, I don't want to put my future in the hands of of somebody I don't think that can uh, that can do me right. Moore's list is now down to the Final Four, with Kentucky surprisingly no longer on the list. I think for me, I didn't, I, I didn't put Kentucky in my final four because I wanted, to, I, I wanted to stay close to home and, uh, and just have a chance to be around my family. So, uh, 
I mean, Kentucky's a great basketball school, and, uh, and, and, and they produce a lot of pros, and, and they win a lot of games. But for me, I just wonder, uh, I really just want to stay close to home. Moore is one of the most highly sought after basketball players in the country because he dominates the court. But the young sharpshooter is also getting attention, in part due to his 4.0 GPA and easygoing demeanor. I don't know, we're talking, we're talking real recent, right? Oh yeah, I was, what was it, uh, yesterday? Like yesterday, <laughs> right? So, yeah, that's okay. I just came back from Duke last weekend. Yeah. Uh, went to NC State and Wake Forest a couple weekends ago, and then uh, I go to Carolina October 12th. Okay. Kind of looking at grades, yeah. kind of looking at some stuff with you. How, how's the year going so far? I know everything's good. Uh, a lot of college classes are going smooth, so. Yeah, I know they usually do. You usually do pretty well. So, uh, so it's really one of those students that um, are at the top of my list when I think about um, just being responsible, hard work, hard working, um, and just overall just a nice kid to know. Well, I'll let you go. <laughs> I know you got some other stuff you got to do today. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Not a problem. Going forward, where do you want basketball to take him? Well, he's getting ready to go to college, and his dream for now is the NBA. And then he wants to be, uh, I don't think he wants to coach, but he wants to be in the sports medicine. So he still wants to stay around where well, he can give back. And my dream for him is to give back, continue to give back. I think I want basketball team is, is just as far as possible. Um, I mean, even after basketball for me, I want to do something involved with basketball, whether it's being a trainer and, and just having a, just having an opportunity to give back what uh, what God gave me. Wendell's family and friends are keeping a safe distance and letting him make as independent a decision as possible. You know, he's we we let him take the lead. And um, at the end of the day, we, we tell him, we're here to support you. I want to make sure it's, it's a great school. Mm -hmm. um, I want to um, also make sure it's going to be a fit. You know, we're used to seeing you play. But we're there to make sure he doesn't, you know, go haywire. And we may disagree, but yet we come to a common agreement. Okay. You know, the most important, we, we want to see what Wendell's takeaway was. Mm -hmm. So his decision was basically his own. I kind of talk to him about everything else but recruiting. Because I know he goes through this every single day. And I don't want to be that person. Because I don't want to be the person that pushes him anywhere. I don't want to be the person that this was yours. No, this is not my life. Oh, Duke. It's, Duke is at the top of my list. Um, it has been since I've been a kid. So that's who I hope he picks. I know where I think he should go. Uh, I think that's, a real, uh, that's the best fit for him. and. You know, uh, we support him and his decision. It's up to him um, where he goes. I'll wear the shirt for as long as he's there, uh, but uh, I'm not going to answer that question. It kind of makes it hard at the end where I can only choose one school. It, it just makes it hard to say no. With decision day approaching, all of Moore's choices are in close proximity to home. Will it be NC State? Duke, Wake, or Carolina. Who is he picking? You have to stay tuned. Log on to Facebook.com slash ADSNTV on Monday for Wendell Moore's Big Decision. We'll be live from Cox Mill High School starting at 6.30 p.m. And after the event, make sure to log on to carolinablitz.com for an exclusive recap of Wendell's journey to Decision Day.